Hey buddy, it's 54 Newstar, and we're back with, um, I didn't have time today to f do a recording, I was really, really busy today, um, I did, was able to finish the next episode, so I'll be recording it tomorrow, this is just a, a episode to tell you what to expect tomorrow, um, as we said in the last episode, we're gonna be doing the basics, kind of like an FPS and all that stuff, so we're, we have a menu, um, we have an, an intro scene, we actually have two int uh, two scenes, two transition scenes. So we have one where you zoom in on a planet and one where you zoom in on a space station. We have the actual space station in a Quake 2-ish sense. Uh, so think of Unreal Quake 2 and Quake 1-ish. Um, this is going to be released as a, like a freeware game or whatever. So, so we have our basic enemy and our basic enemy too, with his big bl dual gun, holographic versions, um, a hologram AI, so like a Cortana. I'm gonna have an animated, like texture skin over her, so we can do um, have like more advanced stuff. And then I'm actually going to port this to um, what do you call it? Publish. I'm actually gonna publish it to Android. I uh, should be able to do it tomorrow, tell you how to guys how to do that. And then we can um Yeah, we should be able to uh finish doing like this part of the tutorial and actually get down to enemy AI, how to do doors. So you actually we should be able to do doors in this episode tomorrow uh, or whatever. Um how to do special effects, uh, ammo, and all that stuff. So that should be coming up. Um, and how to like model stuff and import them into Blender. So yeah, this is the scene. It's actually pretty basic in polygon count. And what you can do is scene metrics. So in this scene, estimated polygon count is 10,921. Amount of nodes in the scene. Um, I think that's basically items. So I have 268 items, or you know, boxes, planes, and all that stuff. The amount of memory needed to run this level is six millibytes. And textures in the scene 49, which are two two are light maps. And then uh, I'm, this is basically the beginning of a HUD, which is going to be placed right here. I'm still kind of playing around with that. So yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, so let's go into what's going to be like. So we that we're going to hit publish. I have the settings for 1024 by 70, DirectX 9, 32 bit. And say OK. Actually, we should be able to say VSync full screen. Okay, I don't think this recorder is going to allow me to do full screen, so I think it's just going to do this 1024 by 720. So here we go. We have menu, we got Terra Prime. We have Terra, the planet. Play, exit, hit play. We're going to go basically transition into a scene with... I'm going to polish up this one, but zoom into Space Station where you're at. Suddenly you're here. I'm going to have it to where it's going to wait like four seconds and say Space Station X or whatever. So you have doors. This I get, this guy, I'm going to replace all the Quake figures. Uh, with actual figures that I made, or I'm gonna have uh, some blender artists help me on this one. Um, and he's basically gonna stop you. You're not gonna be able to pass this area, and he's gonna say, "Stop! You must see the commander." You go through here. So basically, this door is gonna be locked too. So he, when you talk to him, or get in like um, get so close to him or whatever, it's gonna trigger you being able to like have a key or whatever. And then that door's gonna open. 
or when you get so close and he f finally triggers something, he talks, this door will finally open or something like that. So this door is open. Uh, we have a little steam effect. We have a holographic little world. And then basically, again, like a Cortana, um, she's going to be your guide on the mission a bit. And then everything blue on her is going to be some sort of like code that's going to be an animated texture. And then we have, um, these are all um, freeware or, you know, semi-freeware to basically, uh, if you look at the Copper Cube engine, not Copper Cube, but Cube 2 engine, these guys are all like basically freeware. So you basically can build a game and sell it with these guys. So basic thug enemy, holographic thug enemy, basic like stormtrooper big guy enemy, um, almost like a boss, holographic version. And then I'm gonna have another holographic dude, not holographic dude, but another like a commander dude and some uh, like um, tech guys and some soldiers in here. And then some computers and all that stuff. And that's actually supposed to be there. Uh, there's actually gonna be some glass. So it's like a, a fancy building. And basically you come up to him, he tells you your mission, and then she's going to be your guide on the uh, mission. And then you leave the area, you come over here, now you ha now that, that scene has ended, you have an activation, basically you walk out of this room, and once you walk into this area, you get a key to get to activate... Um, this door, he will actually be moved uh, over here, or he and uh, he's now gonna say like, uh, "Good luck on your mission." You're gonna open up this area. This area may be almost like a loungeish area or a storage facility or something like that with some more guys in it. Um, so maybe some technicians. Again, I'm gonna put some glass right there. This door opens. You then uh, will see a transporter, a couple transporter engineers. Um, this is a transporter, and that's just an object to for right now. I'm actually going to transition to another scene. Boom! Planet Prime, and once like four seconds have gone up, we you actually enter another building or. Um, go transition into another scene uh, where you actually get onto the planet and then you meet a uh, the last of like some humans and all that uh, defense force is saying we're being attacked blah blah some force or whatever and then you have to deal with the a um, basically some enemies and we'll get into enemy AI and you getting guns and shooting picking up ammo and all that stuff so hopefully guys you you know thumbs up to that and all that stuff remember hit the like button and all that stuff um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you would like to see other certain aspects of like the shooter or whatever uh, I could put it into it again this is going to be like a, a basic one so you guys can understand what we can do in the engine and then I'll get on to the third person shooter um, And then we'll get into probably an open world. Again, this will have just a tiny bit of everything in it so you can see all that stuff. Um, yep, and I'll see you in the next video.